Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. It is actually late in the morning, 10.30, and I haven't had breakfast yet. I've got quite a lot to do today, and I need to have a good breakfast before I get going. Uh, I have here everything that I should need to make a nice omelet with for breakfast. Um, I'm going to go kind of nuts. <laughs> you know, I put everything in there. But um, first thing uh, I'm going to get started with, I guess, is the bacon, because I want to I want to get my bacon going. So I'm going to throw the heat on here, get some heat going to my pan, get that nice and hot. That won't take long to heat up. I like to cut my bacon into uh, you know smaller pieces a little bit there. And this here is small. This is uh, thick sliced peppered bacon. Very good. I love this bacon. It's very good stuff. Now you may see me taking what I call my feline correctional device here and uh, doing something like that occasionally. That's because I have a little kitten here who's figured out that there's a way he can get onto my prep table <laughs> from that way. So a little bit of water in a squirt bottle and you've got an instant feline correctional device. Anyway, uh, so, back to what we're doing here. The pan's getting nice and hot. Yeah. We'll let that. That's got a little bit, by the way, a little bit of uh, oil left over from a, uh, a uh, stir-fry. Veggie stir-fry that I had. I didn't bother to take the oil out. It's a vegetable stir-fry. It's vegetable oil. It's all clean. It's all good, you know. Um, Plus, when that pan gets hot enough, that whatever might be in that oil that would bother you is going to be killed for sure. <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, the idea is to get this cooking here. Okay. That's going to actually be on the side. That this the bacon won't be in the omelet itself. It's going to actually be in, on the side. While that heats up, I'll cover that because I, I don't want uh, splatters going everywhere. So I'll cover that up, give my countertop a wipe, and uh, this water is clean, soapy water with a little bit of bleach in it so that it makes sure and kills anything that might be there that shouldn't be there. So uh, let's see. What I want to do, I guess, first is while that's going, I'll go ahead and get my eggs put in here. I want to uh, now turn it down. You hear it getting nice and hot in there, so turn it down a little bit. Get my eggs into a bowl. Three nice eggs, and I don't throw those shells away. I use that as uh, other purposes for the garden. Anyway, take my uh, fork and just lightly fold. I don't want this, you know, completely blended. I just want it folded a bit. Now, there we go. Nice. That's good. That should be good. Now what I want, I do want to do is put a little bit, a splash of milk in there. That will help it fluff a little bit, you know. And that's all I'm going to do with that milk. So the milk goes right back in there. Now I fold that milk into those eggs a little bit there. Like I said, that I don't want it to completely mix there. Just fold it a bit. And that's good. That's perfect right there. So we'll set these aside until we're ready for them. Uh, I need the fork <laughs> right away. So flip over my bacon. As you can see, it is cooking well. Oh, I love this peppered bacon. There's, it's got this out of this world flavor when it's done, and it's very thickly sliced. So it's not like you're eating a little, you know, piece of whatever. It's you're eating something, you know. So, meanwhile, while that's going, I might as well do some prep work. I'm going to have some veggies in this omelet. 
I figured uh, a nice half of a half of a half of an onion, <laughs> a quarter of an onion would would do good in this omelet. Put that in there, and uh, I'm gonna be putting a also some bell pepper in there, and I'll put those together in here. Or maybe I should use a bowl instead. I'll use a bowl. Okay, so we get a bowl going here that I can put my veggies in once they're cut and ready to go. And I'm going to just, I want to cut these into little tiny pieces. I don't want big, big onions in there. You know, I want little tiny chunks of onion in there. And that's pretty much how you make little tiny chunks of onion, just like that. <laughs> not, not tough to do. <laughs> okay, so we'll get the onions and throw them in there. Right in there. Then, also, I'm going to have some bell pepper in there as well. You know, a nice green bell pepper. And, of course, I'm not going to use that whole thing. That much of it ought to do. I'll put this back in the bag, zip her up, and now these two items can go right back in the refrigerator so that they don't go ruining. And now I can cut this up. And I like these cut into little pieces too, just like the onion. You know, for an omelet, you want little tiny vegetable pieces you know nothing too big and just take your time there's no rush to cut this stuff up you know uh, the worst thing you can do is cut your own self and you don't want to do that so you just take your time you know with messing around with sharp knife you don't want to hurt yourself or anyone else so you take your time you make sure each cut you make is the one you want to make. Okay, so now we have the bell peppers and the onions. And I'm going to put some mushrooms in there as well. But now the mushrooms I'm not going to put in with these because these, these are going to be sautéed slightly before. Well, no, actually, you know, I think today I'm going to go fresh with everything right in there. So I will. I'll, I'll add these cut up uh, pieces of mushroom right in there not a whole bunch they're just a uh, you know a little handful and again i want to cut them up now, these are easy enough to cut up you just <laughs> kind of do like this and it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter one of them little chunks so there you go and that's done that's chopped up just like that you see mushrooms are so so hard to work with okay get those in there and now we got the veggie end of it going so I've got three pieces of cheese because I have three eggs I want one piece of cheese per egg and I can put my mushrooms back in the refrigerator but you know what I don't like that I need to seal that better and I also think I need to give my bacon a flip here oh yeah time to give the bacon a flip that go some more and take some of this plastic and I'll cover up the end of this box here there we go Ooh. that this plastic is so much fun to work with isn't it <laughs> there it sticks to everything except for what you want it to stick to <laughs> There, now, get that sealed back up again, put that in the refrigerator. The only thing left over here now is my juice and my berries, which I'm going to have in my meal a little bit. And while, let's see, might as well put the berries into their dish. Berries that I'm going to have. These are raspberries. And these are good good fresh berries from the store supposedly I mean 
You have to be careful. You sometimes get mold in them, especially up here in northern Maine. You know, it's hard to get really fresh stuff. But it looks like so far so good. A little soft, but at least not moldy. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? That's half of this has gone bad. Half of this has gone bad. I've already picked out probably the best part of it. And that's a shame. It's, that is a shame. This I would just picked these up the other day and they're already not good. So okay. Unfortunate. But that goes in the garbage. So I do have some good ones that I can eat with my breakfast. That's good. It's not a complete loss. Now, let's see, I'll put my berries right there. I'm going to have a glass of juice. Just a small glass will do. Give my bacon a flip here. I think it's about done. Oh yeah, it is. As soon as I get my juice poured, it will be finished. I'll be ready to prep the pan to make an omelet. Alright, there's my juice. And let's go ahead and get okay, I'm gonna that's the time to pull off the plate now, I guess. So I have my plate right here. Be able to make a piece of napkin, put it on there, put my bacon on there. Oh yeah, it's done. It's very good. Very good. I know it, it had, tends to have a, a burnt look to it, but that's just the peppered, the pepper stuff that, that, that's on there. Is it kind of a little bit of a burnt look at first there? Now this here, I need to take this and basically scrape out everything that's in there. Get this pan ready to make that omelet. I gotta get all that stuff scraped out of here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to, to use this. There we go. That's getting it out better. Oh yeah, that's scraping it right out of there. Never, never send a wooden tool to do the job of a steel one. <laughs> All right, that's better. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dump that right there. I don't need that. Okay, in fact, I almost didn't notice, but there's still all that peppered bacon seasoning stuff left on there. So I'll get that, get that out of there. Now, I don't want to wash the pan out really. I just want to get that out of there. Now I've got a well-oiled pan ready to cook my omelet in. And it's hot already, so put it in there. Get going. All right. Now I always give it a turn right away because maybe the stove's not quite even like it should be or whatever. Get that uh, well well even out. I gotta leave that water running. Unfortunately, it takes forever for the heat, the hot water, to get up here. We live on the third floor. My cat is destroying the house. He's just doing something. He doesn't, I'm, you know, I think he's a plant from one of my enemies or something, this kitten. Send him over here to give me problems. <laughs> Which I don't think I have any I mean, enemies. I wouldn't want any. I hope I don't have any. I want nothing but friends in my life. Friends that I can cook for <laughs> and do neat stuff with. Alright, so. Yeah, and it's finally getting hot now. 
be able to wash those the oil out of there. Now I really went overboard with these veggies. There's way too much here, but that's okay because I'm going to use what I don't use right now for supper and something else. And they'll stay quite well in the refrigerator, covered up in this bowl, whatever I don't use here. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I am going to use it all too. I just might. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Yeah, why not? Go nuts. Load it right up with veggies. Ah, now there's a mountain of veggies on an omelet, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Get that well spread there. And now is the time that I want to put my seasons on there. Which, I have a little bit of pepper to put in there. I have a little bit of salt to sprinkle around the whole thing. And right and center a little bit more because of the veggies. Then I have a little bit of Mrs. Dash original and I'll give a little bit of a shake in there all right and then of course the all-important Hibernero Tabasco and I like it I like it a lot so I'm putting quite a bit more than what most people would be able to put take my advice this is very hot stuff don't play around If you can't take the heat, don't eat the pepper. Right? So, all right. Now, omelet is going. I want to let that cook a while, you know. I'm not afraid to let that cook. I'm going to let that cook a little bit, you know. It's starting to separate around the sides. That's good, but it's still, still not cooked well enough. And even almost almost to the point of burning the bottom side of it there especially since it's a really big on it you know and then as matters to get a little bit of burning on there it doesn't matter at all now I'm gonna have to use a couple spatulas actually to probably get that flipped over properly and let's see now I'm gonna use this napkin to wipe off the little messes around here while I wait for this to okay I can see that's pretty well done and ready to go and let's get the tools that I don't need out of the way this fork is going to be for eating and let's see if I can get this flipped on top of itself here ah how about that look at that it's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty good. It's going to be tough to get this side though. I have to slide it back a little bit. There we go. And now I can hold it up and over. Just like that. Now, now what I want to do is, is the fun part. I've got to roll the whole thing upside down from where it's at right now. So, put the spatula under, take this spatula and give it some assistance. Help it right over, just like that. Tuck everything in. Doesn't matter, you have little pieces falling out here and there, that's okay. And it's a big omelet. So, and now that's almost done. We're just going to let that finish cooking there. I can actually turn the heat off of the pan because the pan's hot enough to finish cooking that as we talk here a little bit. I'm going to put these spatulas away. Take a washcloth. Washcloth and wash off my countertops that I've been using over here. Put this one away so it's out of the way. Wash this off now. And when I'm finished cooking, I'll go ahead and wash the stove off. 
and then I'll sit down and eat. That way when I get done eating, I don't have anything left to clean. I can sit and relax for a few minutes before I have to jump up and get started doing what I have to do today. And this little kitten is all around my feet. You want to make camera debut? Come here. Come here, Midnight. There's Mr. Midnight. And he's the one, and he loves for me to hold him like this. He wants me to hold him so he can watch what I'm doing. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to do all this stuff with one hand, so I can't always do that. But uh, he does like to watch Daddy work and play and cook and everything else. Okay, so go ahead, guy. Go down there. I'm going to finish wiping off the counter here. So I have a nice clean kitchen when I'm finished. And look what I found. This is from yesterday. A little bit of red grapefruit that I'll put on the tape on the on my service platter with my other fruit. Now I can take the napkin out from under there. Throw that napkin away. And here comes another fun part, which I've already gotten rid of. I've already, ha, ha. Okay. Got ahead of myself there. Put the spatula in the, in the wash water and did not have anything left to uh, extract it from the food from the pan. Okay. Fun part. That's hot. That pan is hot. And that's the funny thing about the cast iron pan. It does get hot. Okay. How about that, huh? How about that? Now, is that a nice omelet or is that a nice omelet? You tell me. Now, go ahead and clean my pan out a little bit right away while it's hot. It's the best time to clean these cast iron pans. Yeah, I don't like to use soap on them. I, as a matter of fact, is that I can recall, soap has never touched to this particular pan. <laughs> I uh, rinse it out just like that so that it comes nice and clean. Put it there and uh, there we go, just like that. Now I can put my plate over here on my service platter and finish washing everything off here. Like I said, you know, I live here alone. I don't have uh, assistants and people to do this and that, and I have to do everything. So rather than eat and then have the chore of cleaning the kitchen up to do after having ate, which everybody knows, once you eat, that's it. You don't want to have to do anything right away. So you might as well... You know, the food's going to stay hot for a little bit. As a matter of fact, it's too hot for you to eat it right away, coming off the stove anyway. So you take a minute or two to clean up the area. And that way you can relax after you've had your meal. And there we go. I'll go ahead and clean this Sharpie, the knife. Clean that off because it's uh it's dangerous to have you know knives are dangerous and it's best to just get them out of the way safely as quickly as you can now i had poured that oil into this sink here and now i have a chance to clean it up the water is nice and hot finally a nice soapy rag hot water, clean that out, and there you go. Now I'm ready to have my breakfast. <laughs>